Let's recap. Equi, anti, and range comparisons. The subquery requires a single row subquery. Here's the query that we actually executed, and we implied that this ID must be equal to the result in this one. Note that the category table is not part of the join between the calling query and the subquery. Like also requires a single row subquery, so we forced this query down here to return one row by the application of row num equals one. In set inclusion comparison, once again there is no join between the calling and the subquery, since the in inclusion causes the subquery to be executed prior to any values being passed back to the calling query. Also, this subquery after the in clause can have multiple rows. In does not have a single row subquery restriction applied to it. Remember that in should be used mostly for literal values or checking on subqueries against very small static tables. Exists. There isn't actually a join per se in this query. I like to think of it as a join because what I'm doing is I'm passing a valued result from each row in the calling query into the subquery and I'm matching the two rows between the two tables. There are two reasons why exists is faster. Firstly because it matches indexes. Reading indexes and the table precisely with the index is generally faster than reading a full table scan. Although in this case that's not the case because this table is very small. There is index matching. The second reason is because when exists finds what it is looking for, it stops. It does not search any further. In other words, exists will search into the category table and find for each category row, it will search into the index and find each category ID from the show table. It will not search the entire show table for every single row of the category table selected. The in comparison condition will do that because for every row it will do a subquery execution in theory, although that query is already in memory. It's complicated and that's a lot of tuning. We don't really want to get into that. Just remember that exists is generally faster than in unless in can use literal values or the tables in the in subquery are extremely small. Between, once again, here we have a query example, the one we used. Again, there's no join between calling query and subqueries but I've simply used two subqueries on the two between ranges to demonstrate that I can use two subqueries. I'm actually finding all the data in the category table with this query.